Now to a possible breakthrough treatment for Alzheimer's disease. This mm. very unique therapy uses the immune system to treat the disease. Well, that's something. And during this Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month, KCAL's Rachel Kim introduces us to patients who are showing dramatic improvements. We really are uh, here to try to help people just like you and your family members. Dr. Paul Song speaks with hope and optimism to those whose lives have been affected by Alzheimer's disease. He is CEO of NK Gen Biotech in Santa Ana. Their focus has been developing natural killer cell therapies for cancer patients, but now they're conducting clinical trials in Alzheimer's patients. A population that essentially the medical community and the pharmaceutical community have not been able to help. Natural killer cells are white blood cells that destroy infected and diseased cells. NK Gen's therapy, designed to boost the immune system, involves drawing a patient's blood, isolating the natural killer cells, and multiplying them into billions of cells. Without any genetic modifications, uh, but just through a patented process, we can make them inherently stronger, increase the killing potential of a natural killer cell. Because patients receive their own cells, rejection isn't an issue. The cancer and Alzheimer's trials so far have shown no side effects. Dr. Song came across the benefits of natural killer cells when doctors gave the boosted cells to the father of NK Gen's founder, who is dealing with advanced Alzheimer's in South Korea. The original goal was to protect him from nursing home infections. To our surprise, within three treatments, he started to show really dramatic changes in his cognitive ability. Whereas he had not spoken in years, he was now talking. To find out if they were onto something, the company treated other Alzheimer's patients on compassionate use. Can you do it? Yeah. Show me. This is video of a 71-year-old advanced Alzheimer's patient named Janice. Where did you get you? Stand up. The baby. Come on, up. Hi, girl. Well, there, there, perfect, there, there, perfect. There, there, Before she was given the natural killer cell therapy, she was unable to get out of a chair or walk by herself. Go around the table, watch the table. That's it, watch the table. Okay, now come to me. But as you can see, after natural killer cell treatment, Janice was not only able to get around on her own, her husband says she can now make eye contact and answer short questions. It was sort of miraculous what we were seeing. And we didn't know what to expect, but we did start to see uh, these patients now all of a sudden be able to get out of a chair by themselves, to be able to take small bites by themselves, to be able to uh, follow one and two step commands, whereas before they would just stare off into space. Go to see Liz, go see Liz in the kitchen. Go to the kitchen where Liz is, go ahead. Go see Lizzie. The FDA has given NK Gen the green light to move forward with its Alzheimer's clinical trial. Dr. Song says the natural killer cells leave normal tissue alone and only destroy what shouldn't be in your body. There are three proteins that accumulate in the brains of not just Alzheimer's patients, but other neurodegenerative diseases. And our cells have been shown to reduce all three of them. Good morning. Dr. Sant P. Chala is the director of the Sarcoma Oncology Center in Santa Monica and one of the principal investigators for the Alzheimer's trial. My main role is get the cells prepared, screen the patients and administer. Based on what he's seen so far. The most important thing is no toxicity, especially we see in the cancer drugs very toxic. I have a feeling, although we are doing this for Alzheimer's disease, it may have lots of collateral benefit. If I have to go somewhere, I forget. I go for grocery shopping and, huh, what did I? So I have to now write it down, otherwise I'll forget half the things. 79-year-old Shrata Chudgar was diagnosed with moderate Alzheimer's. Her husband noticed a decline in her short-term memory. When we spoke with the couple, Shrata was getting her second infusion of natural killer cells. The few things I started just a little bit more remembering. Beginning of something and makes me think and believe that this NK therapy is definitely going to work. Dr. Song says 90% of phase one trial patients experience stable or improved cognitive function. As they increase dosing in more advanced trials, doctors hope to show even greater cognitive benefits. They're here to help people to get better. Joel Siegler's 85-year-old wife, Yuki, struggles with her short-term memory. She is on her seventh infusion. It seems to have stopped that forward progression 
and at least slowed it down or, or to, to, to near a stop. And now she's starting to get better. So that gives me hope. We believe this is gonna have utility across numerous uh, neuro diseases. Including Parkinson's disease. NK Gen's ultimate goal? Treat neurodegenerative disease in the early stages or use it as a preventative therapy for those at high risk. It's been a very difficult struggle, but when you actually see patients that are improving, and the impact that's there, you, you have to keep moving. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Rachel Kim, KCAL News. <laughs>